the story about Karl Marx in these parts of the world especially often resembles the story of Dr. Frankenstein, basically a good guy but he had created the monster. Uh, is, was it uh, premature? Uh, could it have been different uh, maybe a hundred years after that? I think Marx was always clear that if you try to build socialism in a backward society, you are likely to produce a monster, you know? And of course that's tragically what happened both here uh, and, uh, and throughout el elsewhere in Europe. Um, Marx always assumed that you could only go socialist if you had resource the resources to do so. You know, socialism implies a certain amount of wealth, a certain amount of education, of literacy, of certain civic habits and so on, democracy. And all of that, of course, was tragically lacking in, in, the, in, in Bolshevik Russia, where it all started. So, yeah, I think one of the tragedies of Marxism is that socialism was most necessary where it was least possible. Uh, that's what happened in the 20th century. And yet to understand that, paradoxically, I think you have to look at Marx himself. Yeah. It seems that uh, capitalism must be unsuccessful in order to survive, in order to uh, rise from the ashes and relive the cycle all over again. Yeah, Marx always, he was one of the first thinkers to see that, that crisis was built into capitalism. It wasn't just something accidental that happened to it every now and then. It was actually part of its very structure. And we've seen that, of course, recently. We've seen how, after so many years in existence, capitalism still seems unable to provide welfare and fulfillment and even sometimes jobs and food for a great many people. And that really is the kind of scandal which of course strikes socialists so much. How come that in the most developed and wealthy society or civilization in history we still have so much deprivation and poverty? Marx just tried to address the question of what were the mechanisms which created that. It seems that uh, the uh, capitalist welfare state is the only plausible way for in, in achieving socialism as some kind of a Marx, Marxist state. I think that social democracy is in big trouble at the moment. When capitalism can afford social democracy, it's fine. But when it goes through periods of crisis, it can't afford it. Uh, social democracy is a very fragile phenomenon in that way. It's a great advance, but it's also something which comes and goes. And I'm afraid that at the moment it looks as though it's going more than coming.